Well, welcome again, everyone. My name is Brian Pillsbury, and I am your host tonight for Husky Highlight. And I want to thank everybody for attending. Uh, the first thing I need you to know is that this is being recorded. So just be aware of that. And um, yeah, so I, first I want to tell you a little bit about kind of the logistics of tonight. I'm going to uh, share my screen and give a brief presentation on uh, how career services can really benefit you as you uh, head towards career success at NIU. And then we will hear from our panelists and uh, have them introduce themselves. And I'll invite uh, everybody in attendance to, to ask questions. But obviously, you can't all speak up, or else that would just be chaos. So uh, the way we'd like to do this is let's keep the, uh, the questions to the chat. And we have multiple people monitoring the chat, uh, but questions really at any time uh, are totally appropriate. So, so we definitely want to hear your questions. Just put them there in the chat and uh, you'll be good to go. Um, one thing I would ask is that, um, is that everyone put themselves on mute tonight because that can result not being on mute can result in a bunch of ambient noise that might uh, be just a little distracting so uh, so yeah welcome again and why don't we just go ahead and get started so so yeah my talk tonight real brief is going to be about career services and really how you can get the most out of it to help you as you progress towards your career as a husky or towards your career yeah certainly so uh, career services overview first of all I want to introduce myself a little more my name again is Brian Pillsbury I am director of career services with Northern Illinois University I I use he, him, and his pronouns. And a little bit about my background. I uh, earned my BA in psychology from Trinity University in San Antonio, Texas, followed by a PhD in counseling psychology from the University of Missouri, Kansas City. And then I started at NIU. So I've been here uh, more than 22 years helping NIU students discover and achieve their career goals. And a, a little side fact about me is that I am currently the president of the Illinois Career Development Association. So yeah, uh, first uh, kind of brief overview of what career services is. We are a centralized full service career office for students. So centralized, that means that we, we work with all majors. You don't just go to your college's uh, assistance for career assistance. You uh, can find assistance no matter what your major is uh, through career services and you can find assistance if you don't have a major yet because uh, what we like to do is help people to decide on a a major and especially linking that major to their career direction and full service so we work with uh, any career concern whatever's on your mind even if you're thinking oh well, i'm not sure if the career office is right for that right for this contact us and let us know and if we're not the best office for you we will refer you to uh, an office that can help um, we have a range of one-on-one -on -one career counseling services as well as career workshops and we have many many online resources and much of what we have online is available to the general public so um, so you don't have to be a student to uh, uh, take advantage of some of the resources that you'll find on our website. Then, of course, we work a lot with employers, bringing employers to campus to talk to NIU students. And we are the employer's first stop when they want to recruit NIU students. So they reach out to us and uh, tell us what 
what they would like as far as hiring, and they put their jobs on a job board we have called Huskies Get Hired, which you will hear about in a bit. And yeah, definitely our uh, employer partnerships really do benefit students. And so yeah, so that's the employer's aspect of career services. And then the two come together through job and internship fairs. Uh, we have our all majors internship and job fair each semester. So yes, uh, fall and spring is when we have the fairs. And then we have career specific fairs. And this semester, we're going to have an education job fair, as well as uh, this is kind of a long name, government, public and social services and health and wellness. So if you're interested in careers in any of those fields, we have a job fair uh, just for those fields as well. Oops skipped one. Okay, so our approach is we take a holistic view of career success. So your career decision making and career uh, development, uh, developing towards a career doesn't happen kind of on its own. It happens in in the same realm in which you live. And what I mean by that is that personal concerns and your your relationships with other people and uh, yeah, how you connect with the world, all of that is related to your career development. And if you talk to one of our career counselors, I think you'll get a sense that we bring that into our appointments. Then uh, we seek to advance each student, excuse me, we seek to advance each student's career development development through their entire time at NIU. And that key word there is advanced. So uh, starting with, I'm not sure what I want to do career-wise, advancing to decision-making, and then how do I get there from here? And we're focused on providing student services that support the imperatives of student career development. So what does that part mean? It, it really supports the, the really key parts of student career development, which are choosing, preparing, and pursuing. And we partner with employers and the local community to develop internship and job opportunities for students. Okay, so I... I alluded to these three areas just now, but yeah, we see that there are three key steps to career development while, while at NIU. There's choosing. We help students, as I've mentioned, identify their interests, values, and skills so they can make informed choices about academic majors and careers. There's preparing, which is really kind of how do I get there from here. We teach students about the importance of acquiring the skills and experiences sought by employers and graduate professional schools. And pursuing, we help students develop internship search and job search strategies and related skills, both for uh, related skills for securing a job or to get into graduate school. We can help with pursuing both of those. Okay, so yeah, you really want to begin with the end in mind when you come to college. So think about what your goal is, think about what kind of career you want, and then kind of think about what are the steps that it takes to get there from here. So a great example is nursing. You know, if you want to be a nurse, well, what's step one? Well, that's obvious. You're going to major in nursing. But what else are you going to do to be competitive to get the, the nursing job that you want? And yeah, as you've heard, there's a lot of nursing jobs out there, but a lot of the certain hospitals are pretty competitive to get work in. And so that's why you want to do other things in addition to majoring in nursing, like getting a great GPA, um, being involved on campus, doing an internship, even outside of nursing. And of course, I'm using nursing as an example, but this all show this is all relevant to really any career that we're talking about. Okay, so yeah, you definitely want to start early and start strong. We have what are called career checkups, where you meet with a career advisor and uh, talk 
with that person about here's my goals, how do I get there from here? We have a web page called Explore Majors and Careers where you can choose any major that we have and see common job titles that are related to that major as well as names of internships and jobs that actual NIU students and alumni have gotten from those majors. And then Huskies get hired, I mentioned, and then getting experience and we can help with all of that. So we have various career advising options that you can see here. And if uh, once you're accepted to NIU, you can, you can, you are eligible for all services. Uh, so you don't have to be in classes, taking classes at the moment, just get accepted, get a ZID, and then you're, you are eligible for services with our office. Here are a number of the different online resources that we have. Big Interview, for instance, is a kind of an interview simulation tool that we subscribe to for you. And, and you can use it today if you wanted to. Just get on our website and, and set up your Big Interview account. You just need this 0778 organization code. Then as far as Huskies Get Hired goes, again, as soon as you get a ZID, you can get a Huskies Get Hired account. You just need to email us at that email address and, and then yeah, get on our job board and start searching. All on-campus jobs, the university has asked that the on-campus jobs be advertised through Huskies Get Hired. So that's one good reason to get into your account early is so you can search for on-campus jobs. Jobs. But, but also part time, other part time jobs, internships, and full time jobs you can find on Huskies Get Hired. Then I mentioned our career fairs. And yeah, so that's, uh, that is career services in a nutshell. And if you do have any questions, feel free to email me directly. It's just my last name, Pillsbury, like the company, at niu.edu. Or if it's more of a general, hey, how do I access this service or that service, email our, our main email address, career services at niu.edu. Okay, now I am going to turn it over to Natalia Dimitrik and Eric Wazowitz, and they are going to uh, give you a, a basic introduction, especially about themselves in relation to NIU, and then we will open it up for questions from the audience. Uh, my name is Natalia Dimitruk. I graduated from NIU in May of 2021 with uh, my bachelor's degree in biomedical engineering. I minored in electrical engineering and the Spanish language as well during my time at NIU. And I am currently working as a client service technician for GE Healthcare. Uh, so my day-to-day -day consists of repairing different medical equipment from patient monitors to ultrasounds to as simple as um, otoscopes and ophthalmoscopes, the scopes used to look into your ear and your eyes um, at an eye uh, media care center. Um, and um, yeah, that's pretty much everything about me. And I'm Eric Wozowitz. Uh, I'm a 1980 graduate in computer science uh, with a minor in speech communication, radio, TV, film from NIU. and. Uh, I have uh, been in the tech industry for a long time. I uh, had a company called Greenbrier and Russell named after two streets in DeKalb. Uh, started that with uh, a few other NIU grads. We built that to about 80 million in sales. We had 700 employees, nine cities around the United States. We sold that business, uh, which, uh, and then I ran a $400 million business for the company we sold it to, Fujitsu out of Tokyo. And uh, after that, I decided to spend a little bit of time with my family, And uh, but I had a non-compete. So this is where my next phase with NIU came into play. I became, uh, I started helping out with a class in the business school, even though uh, I was never a business major. I was, uh, again, comp sci. 
And uh, I helped out for a year with that. And then they needed somebody to teach it. So I said I would do it for a year and I did it for five years. And, uh, uh, and I really liked being in the classroom and everything that you've heard today about career services is so true. Uh, you, you come to school, you spend time, you spend money, but let's face it, you're, you're here to also become, you know, a taxpayer, get a job, start a career and, and get those things going. And, and, um, I know we really focused on, on that. That's for sure. So I'm also a donor to the school. So, um, the, uh, if you walk into the Jordan Center, you'll see my name in there. If you walk into the Chessick Center, you'll see my name in, in the entrance, I believe, in, in that building. Those are on the athletic side of things. If you go into the business school, you'll see my name in the, in the, the De La Vega Innovation Center. So uh, Ann and I, my wife and I also donated uh, to that facility as well. So we're, we're donors. And then in 2017, I was asked to join the Board of Trustees. So I've been on the board now for almost six years, and um, and currently I'm the chairman of Northern Illinois University. So I'm pretty involved <laughs> on all this. And I also tell people, any companies, I'm today I'm an investor and an advisor in three different tech companies, and I always uh, encourage, some people would say I push, but I encourage the people go to uh, uh, the career fair and to recruit from there. And actually, I've been known to show up at the booth and uh, help out with recruiting. So uh, I, I can roll up the sleeves and, and get that done. So uh, that's that's my my background. So. All right. Well, I actually am going to grab this first question. Uh, Chris asks, what percentage of students gets get an internship? And that's actually that that's a harder question than you would think to answer, because uh, the internships uh, are what we recommend is that people report their internships to career services, but getting the word out about that is very difficult. So we know that they largely or many of them go underreported. And so we don't have solid percentages for you about internships. I can tell you that um, some departments require an internship and uh, others just very, very much uh, um, emphasize them uh, and um, have classes for them and, and such. So there are a lot of good opportunities for internships. I just unfortunately don't have those uh, specific uh, percentages going. And uh, so, hey, so yeah, hold I, on a second. Hold on a second. Ahead. I can help out with that one a little Great. bit. Great. Like I Thank said, you. I do. I, Teamwork. I do go to the career fairs yeah. uh, from time to time. And I just know from being on, on the floor, uh, and I, well, either at the STEM fair or, or the very large fair that we have in the Convo Center, which takes up two floors in a convocation center, as I walk through there, I would say, you know, people that are actually looking, because it always comes down to what are the companies that are there, what are they looking for as well? And I would say it's it's probably about forty percent of the companies that that go there um, you know, are also looking at bringing on interns. I think a lot of it has to do with the economy and and what's going on in the economy, and then also what's your major. So it seems to me that you know computer science, engineering, nursing, you know things like that tend to have a, a little bit more. But you know that you also see it in other areas too. So I think it's sometimes you just have to to go there. And, and just talk to the companies and there's a lot of companies there. So yeah, you'll, 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 you'll see a lot of things, but that's been my experience from going. Great. Thank you for that uh, input. And yeah, if uh, uh, I recommend that everybody attend the, the career fair, whether you're looking for an internship or job immediately or not, just to get a full sense of it. So, so yeah, thank you for that feedback. So there's a question about being admitted but not getting a ZID. I think that can be handled maybe off um, uh, um, off mic. Uh, maybe one of our admissions people can can answer that. 
but uh, the next question, question to both alumni, why did you choose NIU and how did NIU push you to improve? Well, I mean, I, I can go first. I mean, I, I, um, <laughs> I wasn't going to go to college. So uh, uh, I went to community college just to play football. And then when I got hurt playing football my freshman year, I, I figured I, I better wise up a little bit, maybe do something, you know, with, with my life and, and, and what was going on. So actually my older brother was looking to go to a university and that's how I ended up at, at NIU. And it's sometimes fate, you know, works in your favor and it worked huge in my favor. And, uh, and in fact, that's actually how I became a computer science major. I was radio TV film and I had to cut through the computer science lab to go to my job at the radio station. And, uh, but I, I did that because I had hurt my knee and I was on crutches. So that's how I became a computer science major because I wondered what was going on in that area. I never had even thought about it all that much. So, so in some ways, I guess I was a little bit lucky from that respect, but um, it turned out it's, it's a really, really good thing. So Natalia, I'm sure you probably have a much different story than that, but. Yeah, and Natalia is having difficulty Oh, try it, try it now, Natalia. <laughs> yeah, I just Great. worked. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, so I, I, I did plan on going to college my uh, after my senior year of high school. Uh, I was actually looking at a lot of different universities that were out of state. Um, ultimately, I chose NIU. Um, because NIU was very gen uh, generous in scholarships. <laughs> it was very close to home for me as well. I, I grew up in the suburbs of Chicago, so it was only about an hour away uh, from my family. So it was, that was a very nice aspect to it. And once I toured NIU, I yeah. really enjoyed the campus. There were great benefits that came out of being in the College of Engineering here. Uh, the class sizes were a lot smaller if you compared them to bigger universities within the state. Um, professors took the time to get to know each and every one of their students, which was an amazing aspect to it all. So uh, I was very happy with my decision. Where'd you go to high school? Uh, Prospect High School. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I just went to Palatine. So yeah, go Knights, I guess, huh? Great. All right, thank you both for those insights. And the next question is, uh, how good are the business programs? And since, yeah, you wanna take that, Eric? Uh, they're, they're really, well, you know what? I, obviously I'm gonna be biased because I, I taught in the school. And, but I, I will say this about the business. I mean, just the, the business school in general. First of all, it's called Barcima Hall. And Dennis Barcima wrote the $20 million check to build the building. And Dennis still speaks at the school. I mean, if we were not uh, trustees, we'd still be teaching. So, but they just won't let us teach when we're trustees. But I know I speak in classes all the time. Dennis does as well. And the point I'm getting at here is you have people that have been working in industry, in business, and they are coming back into the classroom to spend time with you and, and and to give you insights. I I don't think you're going to get that in a lot of other schools. And uh you know we're we're pretty meat and potatoes. It's you know we we know where the rubber meets the road on some of this stuff. And you know we have a lot of people from the outside working in the classroom. There's a lot of people that you know hire uh you know from the area. Uh I know you know our accounting program is always you know kind of held on a pedestal but yeah our sales program is a hundred, a hundred percent. You get everybody gets a job out of it. Let's put it that way. It's a, it's a hundred percent out of graduation walks out with a job. So uh, we're we started out as one of the few sales programs in the country, and and now other people have kind of figured out that secret. So we've got that. We've got, and our finance department is a, again huge, and uh, we've got people that are running some pretty big companies that are NIU grads that, that, that come in to, you know, work with us. 
so and work with the students so i i'm real big on it just because it's it's a it's not just reading a textbook it's about how all of these things apply to to your business so uh uh one of the largest accounting firms in the united states is is bdo and you'll see their commercials on tv all the time and steve ferrara is 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 the president of BDO and he's an NIU grad and lives in Palatine. So doesn't live in Prospect, Natalia. He lives in Palatine. So uh, uh but yeah, I mean you've got stuff like that. So I you're just not gonna find that in a lot of other schools. So yeah, and so that's the very kind of personal, very kind of human response. I, in the chat, I just put a link to a more kind of data response, which is the listing of uh, College of Business rankings. And so for anyone interested, there's a website that will tell you about the various ways that the College of Business has has been ranked in major uh, indices in the country. So both of those combined, I think, create a really good answer. So thank you for that, Eric. Uh, then I'm going to move on. I'm trying not to, uh, to lose track of uh, people's questions here. So yeah, what kind of full-time jobs are available for someone who is interested in communication disorder? And that's something uh, where uh, I wanted to see if either of our guests have insights, but I, I have an idea about how you can find that information. So, I mean, if you're talking about communication disorder, that might be in, in our uh, in our health and human sciences area there. Exactly. And again, we're, we're very highly rated, especially in the, in the graduate program around uh, hearing and speech is is we're, we're actually pretty highly rated in that uh, in that area so and i know that our, our grads are are pretty sought after in, in in that space so yeah and so um i'm putting another link in which is the link to our exploring majors and careers page and as i mentioned you can just do the drop down of the majors and choose communicative disorders. And the first category is a list of the kinds of jobs. So if you're talking about actual jobs, that's one thing. But if you're talking about the kinds of jobs that you can get when you major in that, this page is really good for that. And, and the same goes for any of our undergrad majors. You can get really good information at that link. And let's see, so I'm specifically interested in finance and also minoring in sports analytics. So that sounds like an interesting combination. What prospects and opportunities for that combo does that have? Are there specifically opportunities in sports departments? In other words, NIU, nearby professional sports teams as well. I yeah. guess I'll take it again. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know, I just, I, and I'm sorry, Natalia, I just know a few things. About this. Yeah. No, go right um, ahead. The, um, well, first of all, our finance department is, again, you know, very highly rated. And, and, and I, I applaud the analytics part of that. One thing I, well, first of all, our, 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 our OMIS major has a, a very strong analytics piece to it. So, I think around sports, I don't know about the granularity of that, but I know in terms of what we do from an analytics standpoint, I, I know that companies that I've been involved with, we've hired from there, uh, specifically from the analytics side uh, of things. Uh, uh, Chen does a great job in Balaji. Does a, so Balaji is the dean of the business school. Chen Lu uh, runs the analytics program there. As far as how it relates to sports, I mean, we've got a you know we've got a great sports program. I, I think that probably would go to Sean, uh, uh, you know, and what he's doing in, in that space. It's I think it's one of these things. If you re, if you're in the area and you and you want to do that, and I use the type of school that all I have to do is show up and say I'm interested in doing this, and and somebody will somebody's going to listen to you and say yeah okay. That might just mean going over to the offices in the convo center and saying, I'm a business major and I'd like to help out with some of the analytics spots here. So, um, 
Yeah, that's mm -hmm. absolutely right. I encourage people to uh, just whether you see an opening for like an internship or a job or not, just go and, and talk to the org an organization you might want to work for. And if they don't have anything for you, you're no longer you're no worse off than you were if you hadn't asked. And so, um, yeah, uh, they might the answer might be yes, the answer might be no. But if you don't ask, the answer is definitely no. So yeah, the sports department, the athletics department on campus, maybe look at the uh, minor league teams in the area. Reach out to to uh, a minor league baseball team and and see can I learn about your fi the financial role of your organization that sort of thing. So I see hands up, and I just want to say that we're we're mainly doing comments in the chat today to keep it keep it fair so um, you can always email me too uh, afterwards if we don't get to your question but uh, can I get a zoology degree at NIU and yeah Ooh, I, I, yeah I mean I say yeah because I saw you you were about to ask and so I didn't, don't mean to say yes but that was more a handoff to you Eric I wanted to see if you knew I boy that one I I I don't know and I know I just I just don't know that one Natalia and, yeah <laughs> help and, me out <laughs> yeah Natalia go ahead I am not sure what I will say though is from my experience even if you can't major in something there are a lot of broad minors that you can do so even if you can't find a major in something very specific you want, there oftentimes will be a major. So for example, you can do a major in biology with a minor in zoology. Um, I don't know if NIU has that option off the top of my head, but I did notice that when I was looking through the minors that NIU did have to offer. Um, so that's always something worth looking into. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's something that would go through our biology department. Right. And, uh, just a little plug for our president. I think so our president is Lisa Freeman, and uh, her background is she is a zoological epidemiologist by trade. That's what she's a doctor in. So, uh, uh, so yeah, I guess if there's anybody that would be a fan on, on that, it'd probably be her. <laughs> so, uh, but as far as I think it would be something that would go through the, the the biology department. Yeah. Great, great responses. So, and then the next question is, what are prospects like for government jobs in the career fair? Oh, I actually can answer this. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> so I, my freshman year, I actually applied for an opportunity that I believe was, wasn't through the career fair, but it was through Huskies Get Hired. And it was to be an intern on Capitol Hill. Um, so since it was my freshman year, and I didn't did not have the experience that they uh, hoped I would. I they did give me the opportunity to interview and ask me to come back later on. Um, so that is a very interesting opportunity that's there um, that I actually had my roommate go to, and she very much enjoyed it. So yes, and we did, we just did a thing in D.C. with people that have interned there. I mean, that's more on the national scale, but with Representative Underwood is, uh, uh, you know, is our congressperson. And, and so she has worked with uh, some of our people. And we have alums that are in Congress and also in the state house as well. So you always have some of those NI, NIU link with linkages. I call it the long arm of NIU. It just seems mm. like we stretch into a lot of areas. Yeah, it, it's impressive. And and yeah, so there's one job fair in particular where there's going to be some government jobs, which is our government, uh, public and social services and health and wellness. That's all one fair. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, coming up in March. I believe that's going to be March 7th. But uh, but yeah, so that's dedicated to the those fields. And so and I do see government employers that are all majors fair as well. Then the next question, how many years did you spend at NIU? Uh, oh, go ahead. <laughs> so I was there for four years for my bachelor program, but now 
I'm back at NIU for my MBA. So um, I will be there for probably another three years online. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it's, it's interesting getting your, your MBA through NIU because your undergraduate was not business. And I think people assume that, oh, if you're, you're going to get your MBA, you have to be a business major. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so NIU, uh, their online MBA program is actually amazing. <laughs> um, so I, yes, I did my undergraduate in um, engineering and I did not take a single business class um, throughout that time. Um, but during these past couple years that I've had my internships as well as my current career, I noticed that I would over time like to move into something a little bit more business facing, um, kind of the operations side of things. So that is what kind of ultimately made my decision to go back to, for the MBA. And NIU has the opportunity if you are um, coming back for your MBA after graduated, graduating from your bachelor's at NIU uh, with no business experience, they have modules that you can take for the prerequisites rather than having to, you know, add on additional classes. So these modules are go at your own pace online and it's just a pass fail and they will count for NIU as a prerequisite class with maybe costing 20% of what the class would cost. Um, so that is ultimately why I decided to go back to NIU for the MBA. And I'm also a big fan of NIU <laughs> in general. So yeah. um, great. Go Huskies. How about you, Eric? How, how long did you, were you four years or did you extend it more? Or? So I did, I did a year uh, in community college, like I mentioned before. So right, I went to right. Triton for a year and then I was four years at NIU. So I, I picked up my uh, computer science major, my first semester senior year, and then I won an extra year to fill out the major. So that's, that's how that worked for me. So it was, uh, so, but I was five years in college all together yeah, so great sounds good then Actually, i was going to go back to get my mba once my business failed but it never failed so <laughs> so, so now you can teach the out. mba so yeah. <laughs> uh, okay the next question when did you do college visits and when should you do them i recommend doing college visits your second semester of junior year and first semester of senior year if you are planning on taking advantage of some of the scholarship opportunities uh, for me personally i spread it i spread out my college visits um throughout my junior year of high school as well as my senior year of high school i might have said college before i'm in high school um but i I did not actually tour NIU until after I got accepted and I applied to NIU very late in the game just because I didn't really evaluate it as an option until a little bit later on. And I did miss on a lot of scholarship opportunities, unfortunately, because of that. So I would recommend touring or earlier rather than later. And I would also recommend taking advantage of any of the NIU open houses. That is where I do most of my volunteering for NIU at the College of Engineering open houses. Um, and I do, I do think they're very beneficial. It's something I would have liked to attend uh, back when I was applying, but I just didn't know that they were out there. Um, and they provide a lot of insight to individual colleges themselves. Yeah, I, I agree with everything you just said there. So yeah, it's yeah. definitely, yeah, junior, my, year, first semester, senior. My son's entering college next fall, and I totally agree with you, Natalia, and, and wish he had taken some of that <laughs> advice himself. It worked out for him, but it's, uh, it would have been good for, uh, to follow your advice a little, little closer. So how many internships do they have for marketing majors? Now, that's kind of a, uh, a question that could be answered in, in different ways. I, I'll open it to our panel. Do either of you or either of you aware of marketing internships? I think a lot of it just, again, just depends on what's going on in the economy. I happen to be on the board of a digital marketing agency. So uh, we will take one in 
uh, we've done we've done that in the past. I think a lot of it just depends on on where the economy is at, at that at that point. And I think anybody that's looking at marketing right now, I highly, highly, highly suggest uh, taking more of a focus on the digital side of things because I think that's really where it's going. And then, I mean, I, that's yeah, that's really where where it's going. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had um, I had some friends who uh, did marketing during their time at NIU, and they were able to find internships through the fairs um, and through um, the business college as well uh, around their junior year, and they did not experience too much difficulty at that time. Uh, I do know as well, though, that like um, like it was mentioned that it does depend on the economy a little bit. Uh, for me, when I was looking for an internship my junior year, uh, it was a little bit difficult just because that's when COVID had first mm. kind of kicked off. So uh, the internship I ended up getting for engineering that year was for a company that normally would take about seven uh, interns in over the summers, and they were only able to take one in that year. So it is a little bit dependent as well. Yeah. Yeah. And I would say, though, that that, yeah, ditto to everything you said. I would also say, though, you can uh, maybe develop an internship almost out of nothing. I'm in marketing for for instance with marketing so for instance you can contact on campus departments and say do you need somebody to do marketing for you and can I work it into an internship you can contact nonprofit organizations and they're always needing people for development and marketing and and things like that so so yeah there are many ways to get different kinds of internships then it was mentioned that there is a way to see what kind of jobs past alumni received. Do we access that through the website or do we need to book an appointment with career services? So that is what I, what I was referring to is this Explore Majors and Careers mm -hmm. website. And you, you just choose the major that you're interested in. And one of the categories is um, uh, jobs that alumni have entered who have that major. And I'll, I'll be honest that some of them are more thorough than others. That's not a reflection of the major. That's a reflection of uh, perhaps they didn't have time to get back to us. So it's not the ref a, ref a reflection of how well that major finds people jobs or anything like that. But uh, but yeah, so there should be at least a few listed for, for each major on that page. OK, I'm going back up. This keeps every time I enter something, it takes me to the end of the question. So I'm going back up. Uh, what kind of careers can students get in a public health major? And, uh, you know, the same thing with that website that I, I put in is uh, a really good information. Uh, Natalia, though, can can you tell us anything about that? Or do you, do you know anything about public health? I do not know too much, actually. I would yeah. imagine that. There is kind of a broader, uh, what I come to realize is there is a broad array of kind of paths you can take within each major. Uh, for example, with my major, you can go the design route, you can go the service route, um, which is the route I chose to take. And that is kind of a repeating pattern throughout a lot of different majors. So I guess it would more so depend on what the individual would like to do. Um, but yeah. I don't know okay. too many of the specifics for public health. Oh, yeah, I thought I saw you starting to answer, and so I didn't want to <laughs> think that I had interrupted you. Uh, um, so, yeah, I would recommend going to that website. Again, it's Exploring Majors and Careers. I, I've put the uh, the link in in the chat a couple times. It's also available through our homepage. And, yeah, you just pull down the major you want, and the very first option is careers related to this major. And so, uh, yeah, great question. Uh, when is it advisable to start with an internship once I have uh, started college? I, I would think, you know, probably complete your freshman year first mm -hmm. and, and then start looking toward that. I mean, it's, I mean, because you're really not going to have, you may 
change your mind on what you think your major is going to be. Uh, you know, it, it just could be, just don't, I, I just think it, 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 you probably would know a lot more after your freshman year. And then I would say sophomore for sure, your junior year. Uh, one other thing too, just about is regarding, seems like there's a strong interest in that area. And one of the things that's going on, if you look at what's going on in, in DeKalb and, and that surrounding area there, the uh, uh, there's been an explosion of business out in that in in our area and uh, Facebook now called Meta has just uh, uh, they have a they built a data center they've just tripled uh, the size of what they're building out in in uh, in the area uh, that's that's one we've got uh, Ferrara Pan Candy which you may not think about this all that much, but there's a lot of research that needs to be done. There's a lot of marketing that needs to be done uh, within that area. So, and these are all right there in, in our backyard. And, and there's, there's other businesses that are coming. So I just had lunch with the mayor and there's a, another one going to be announced here shortly. Uh, so we have that coming on. Also, uh, one other thing that might be in terms of internships are concerned uh, we just approved the uh, uh, the Nix building, which is the uh, uh, Northern Illinois Center for Community Sustainability. So this is around research in, in water and climate and, and agriculture. And we have four different companies that are already set up to rent space in this building. So these are outside companies that are going to need people. Uh, to be doing work in there. And those will probably be in the form of internships, probably to start and then full-time jobs as well. That's being built in the uh, West Campus area, right over by the Convocation Center. So that just approved, was approved. And that will probably break ground on that sometime by the end of this year. So there's a lot of things going around the area there that are, are the arrow is pointing way up in that area. And I always tell people that you're really going to want to be a part of NIU in the next couple of years. So and then absolutely this is the group yeah. I'm talking to. So, or we're talking to. Great. So I am uh, looking at the clock and surprised at how fast this went by. So um, we are going to wrap up with some closing comments. I know that we uh, didn't get to everybody's question, but I am putting my email address again in the chat. It's pillsbury at niu.edu. And uh, anything where you want like specific facts about doing an internship and things things like that, feel free to, uh, to email me. So, um, and then there's a question about, we'll be getting a recording of the slides, right? I, yeah, I, the recording will be made available to everybody in attendance and everybody who signed up as well. But I will um, invite Eric to start us off with uh, final comments, maybe a final piece of advice for everybody. Yeah, and I'm just kind of looking at all the questions we didn't get to around, you know, uh, uh, someone had a question about, you know, uh, you know, any support services for Hispanic studies. We had the Latino Center, which I've been in uh, more than a couple times, and and uh, it's, a, it's a very strong area there of, of support, that's for mm -hmm. sure. And then there was another one here about computer science and, and, and part-time jobs in, in that area. Uh, that's a something that's near and dear to my heart. And, and yes, there's always, there seems to be almost always jobs that are around in, in that area, whether it be an internship or part-time job while you're going to school. So uh, there's a lot of uh, industry around our area, which points back to what I had said before. But overall, as far as closing comments go, um, yeah, I've been on the board for six years. And uh, when I first joined, I was like, whoa, you know, what's going on here? And, and, and we've really worked hard. We got to, it always starts at the top in any organization. And, and I don't care what it is, who it is. Um, if you look at some of our Chicago sports teams and why they may not be doing so well, look at the top. So, uh, but in our case at NIU, uh, Lisa Freeman is a, a phenomenal president. Uh, we have a, a great management team around her during the six years. I think we've almost our entire management team outside of Sean Frazier, who's our athletic director is 
uh, new and young and vibrant and, and, and forward looking and just innovative. Uh, it's just some amazing things that are, are going on. And, and I'm, I'm excited to be a, a part of it. And, uh, and, and I said, I would serve six years and, um, and my six years is up. And if the governor asks me to serve again, I'll do it. So, cause I feel that strongly about what it is that we have going on at the university and NIU is a place you're going to want to be, especially in the next few years here, we got a lot of really good things going on here and, and you can really make a, you know, a huge impact. And I'll, I'll, I'll leave you with this one thought. I, I was telling everybody I was at Harvard last week. I do a week at Harvard every year. And I spoke with one of the professors there and I mentioned NIU and he was aware of NIU and he goes, NIU and, and, and universities like NIU are, are the economic engine for the United States. This is where, you know, the innovation, the entrepreneurs come out of. It's not so much the bigger name schools. It's these these regional state schools where a lot of great things come out of there. And I wholeheartedly agree. So anyway. Great. Thank you very much. And, and just let me say thank you for your service to NIU, Eric. Really appreciate it. We'll see if the governor wants to re-up me. Let's, let's see if JB <laughs> wants to do it or not. So. All right. And Natalia, your, your final comments. Yeah. I mean, I have nothing bad to say about NIU, all good things. I, I thoroughly enjoyed my time at NIU. I would go back to my undergraduate in a heartbeat if I could. Um, but the academic experiences that you do get from NIU are incomparable, in my opinion, to a lot of other universities. Um, throughout my time there, I did get individualized attention when I needed it. Uh, you know, professors were always available to me to talk to. Office hours were always there. Professors were very easy to contact. I didn't have to go through um, teacher assistance to talk to my professors when I needed that assistance. Um, and all the other additional services like career services were very beneficial to me. I, I myself used Huskies Get Hired. I went to the career fairs. That's where I got my first internship from. Uh, so overall, I, I, I do think that NIU is the place to be. <laughs> Great. Well said. Very well said. So thanks to our, both of our panelists. This has been fantastic listening to you both and getting some good information and I want to thank everybody who was in attendance today it's it's really great to see these numbers of people interested in NIU and just from my perspective as the uh, director of career services. I just want to say that I, I'm impressed with all these career related questions. I think people's uh, minds and, and motivations are very much in the right place. And to me, it's, it's all a matter of what I said earlier, which is begin with the end in mind, and then progress towards it. And you know, some people might think, what should I do first? Should I do an internship? Should I do this? Should I do that? And might even feel a little overwhelmed but my advice is you know doing anything so I, I always say that doing anything is almost always better than doing nothing in terms of activities for your career so and if you don't have ideas or need uh, advice or help then you can always contact career services again once you're accepted and when, while you're a student here and so definitely go Huskies and thank you again everybody for participating tonight.